clicking of the temporomandibular joint is actually the very first sign, S-I-G-N, sign, that exhibits itself uh, for people who have temporomandibular joint disorder. There is an awful lot to say about clicking within the temporomandibular joint. There is a tremendous amount of confusion from both doctors and patients alike regarding clicking of the temporomandibular joint. And I hope to, um, to take away, remove the majority of those confusions within the next few minutes. So first of all, let's start out with um, the prevalence of clicking. Uh, clicking uh, is uh, almost pandemic in younger females, uh, adolescent, early adolescent, middle adolescent females. Uh, there is no pain involved. Um, and pretty much everybody ignores it. Now, clicking can occur anytime in life. It doesn't have to be involved in only adolescent females, but clicking by definition is nothing more, nothing less than movement of the meniscus or disc, which I call within uh, talking to patients, I call it the cushion, the cushion between the ball and the socket, the cushion between the condylar head and the glenoid fossa is a piece of cartilage about the size of a nickel that's placed between the condyle and the glenoid fossa. It has a biconcave shape to it. In other words, it's concaved on the superior surface and concaved on the inferior surface and moves along with the condyle as the condyle moves out of the fossa during the second portion of mandibular opening.